Hello, and today we're going to do a review of the Beauty Lifeguard box of Althea. And thank you so much, Althea, for sending this box to me. So this box includes five full-size makeup-related products. So di ba, puro makeup siya. Marami kang magagamit for the eyes, for the face, and also meron tayong setting spray. You would see later when I show you this stuff. And also, in this video, I already have my final thoughts regarding the products in this box because I have already played with them for almost a week. Okay, but I will not be able to give you full-length reviews because ayoko naman na maghapon na kayo nandito and baka makatulog na kayo sa haba ng video na to. But for the full review of the products that I'm going to show you that are featured in this box, I would post uh, the reviews in my Facebook page. So I would put a link below. So bawat product, my picture, and then nandun yung full review. So if you would want to check that out, just go to my Facebook page. Now, I should say that the price of that box, which I would put in the description box below, because as usual, ito na naman ako, nagpifilm ako, and nakalimutan ko na naman yung price. But anyway, yung price nasa description box. It is definitely worth it to get the box instead of purchasing the individual products because mas mahal siya kapag pinurchase niyo yung five products individually compared dun sa Beauty Lifeguard box. Don't forget and subscribe if you want to be as happy as this baby and also hit the bell icon so you would not miss any of my future videos. Let's go! So, yung itsura ng box and merong mga pa thank yung ganap si Mayor John. So, thank you so much sa nag-send sa akin ng goodies from Althea. But, ito kasi, ito yung medyo um, ify-ify ako about um, the length of delivery. Okay. So, before I got sent a PR box or PR stuff from Althea. Uh, my boyfriend purchased an Althea haul for me. Ayun yung, ililink ko rin siya sa um, box below. Ano mo yan? Kinakain ko yung buko. So, mga skincare products naman yun. Okay. So, since yung boyfriend ko yung nag-purchase for me, so, of course, hindi siya beauty vlogger, right? So, the package arrived like after 20 days. Okay, 20 days na parang lagpas pa dun sa um, lagpas pa dun sa scope or length of time na ine-expect mo to be delivered. And it was delivered in Metro Manila. Okay, so compared pa sa provincial, di ba? Minsan sa provincial, parang mas matagal pa compared to Metro Manila. So, lagpas 18, 18 to 20 days yung span of delivery time. Now, as a beauty vlogger, not that now that they know that I am a beauty vlogger, wala pang 5 days na dumating yung package. So, ayun yung medyo question, question mark ako. Is it because special na mas mabilis dumating because I'm a beauty vlogger or mas matagal kapag customer? Ayun yung medyo question mark ako. Or, maybe possible naman na yung box nasa Metro Manila na lang tapos ship na. And if you're a customer, straight from Korea. So, Korea to the Philippines. Kaya, mas matagal. Ayun lang. Hindi ako sure kung ano yung meron doon. Bakit magkaiba yung um, span ng time ng pagdating nila. Pero, of course, di ba, mas maganda kung pare-pareho tayo lahat na porque beauty vlogger, di ba, hindi naman dapat na kailangan special. Actually, dapat nga mas special yung mga customers, right? Bakit ang taas-taas nito? Ang weird. Anyway, so, the first product that I want to talk about is this one. And this is the Tony Moly Oi Oi. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. <laughs> BC Dacian Waterproof Cushion. And it has SPF of 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. Hindi ko alam ko na ibig sabihin plus 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 na yun. Kailangan maraming plus. Okay, siguro mas maganda kaya sa sa isang plus. Maraming addition. Anyway, so the product is this. And my shade is number 2. Now, I checked. And it has two shades. And at first, I thought na dark sa akin yung shade na to kasi tingnan nyo naman mm. mukha siyang dark and mukha siyang medyo orange but when I put it on my face it matched perfectly so great so for those people who are quite fair just like me safe kayo dun sa uh, uh, number 2 shade kasi baka kung number 1 yung kunin mo maging ano 
white lady na kayo. Medyo ako nagkaroon ng learning curve with this product because when I first applied it, parang siyang tinreat as foundation, liquid foundation. And then I put on, of course, my powder foundation, my favorite MAC powder foundation. But then, ayaw niya. Ayaw niya sa kanya. Parang nagbubunch up yung products and nagiging clumpy siya. Ang pangit-pangit ng itsura. And also, I would say that this has light to medium coverage. You would see in the clip that I am showing you right now na hindi siya kaya kahit two layers, three layers. Yung acne scars ko, hindi siya kaya. And also, the problem that I have with this is that yung layering. If you want to layer um, concealer or a thicker foundation or powder on top of this product, nagagalit siya. So, may pagka-elitista yung product na to. Gusto niya siya lang yung nasa mukha mo. Because you would see that when I put my concealer on top of my face, parang ano yun eh, parang nag umaangat yung product. Hindi siya nag -e stay And I made sure na nakaset na yung product before I put on my concealer. So, again, medyo galit ito sa ibang products na ipapatong sa kanya. So, be careful when you layer products on top of this. But, what I found that is really effective is that if you put on loose setting powder on top. And in my case, I use the Johnson's Baby Powder. So, okay yung combination nito and the Johnson's Baby Powder. Now, for the staying power, I love it. I love the staying power. It is long-lasting and the feel on the face is not sticky and not heavy. So, I I apologize for the lighting. Medyo pa iba iba kasi umuulan. Pero ipupush natin yung video na to kasi I do not have other times to film a video. Okay. The next product is this one. And this one is the VDL Expert Color Primer for Eyes. Now, I love this primer. Eye primer so much kasi talagang ginagawa niya yung job niya. My only complaint is that hindi siya white or hindi siya transparent. Para siyang lavender na medyo may pagka-gray. Parang ang weird ng color niya for an eye primer. And it also has a bit of shimmer in it. So, ang nagiging problem ko sa kanya is chini-change niya yung color of my eyeshadow. Which, at first, medyo naiinis ako kasi bakit ganun? Dapat hindi chini-change ng primer yung color ng eyeshadow mo. But eventually, nung nakita ko na talagang sobrang long-lasting ng eyeshadow on my eyes, I really don't care anymore. Nagka-learning curve din ako with this primer because when I first put it on, di ba usually eye primers dapat medyo tacky yan sa mata? Kasi ibig sabihin, maka-catch niya or mag stick sa kanya yung eyeshadow. So when it's already tacky, yung pala, hindi pa siya nakaset properly. So I used it na naglagay na ako ng mga eyeshadow. Naglagay na ako ng eyeshadow sa ibabaw niya habang sticky pa siya kasi akala ko normal yon So, when I tried to blend my eyeshadow, I was pissed and I was annoyed because the eyeshadows are getting muddy. Pero yun pala kasi you have to let this dry. Yung mga tipong dry niya, yung parang ano na siya, dry to the touch pero kapag inangat niyo yung finger niyo, parang medyo tacky pa pero dapat ma-feel yun na dry siya. If you feel that it is wet, you have to wait for it to set para magamit nyo ng ayos yung product na to. And ang pinakamaganda sa kanya is kahit i-rub-rub nyo yung eyes nyo, hindi talaga matatanggal yung eyeshadow nyo except tanggalin nyo siya ng cleanser or makeup remover. Here is the difference of the eyeshadow colors when I use the primer. Ito yung walang primer and as you can see, okay pa naman siya, vibrant. It, you can really see the color. But with the eye primer, parang medyo gray out niya and nagiging ashy yung color. But then again, this primer works so okay lang. Dagdagan nyo na lang yung um, dagdagan nyo na lang yung eyeshadow nyo para makita yung true color. But at the same time, it could really intensify the color. Again, just pack it on. Mag maganda rin mag-layer yung eye primer na to. Next is you have a mascara and this mascara is for uh, is from Milky Dress Barbie Make Mascara. Now, medyo 50-50 ako about uh, this mascara because I like the formula. Kaya niyang mag-separate, but 
parang nakakounteract yung pagse-separate niya ng lashes mo because uh, the formula is so wet. Now, you can expect that for mascaras to have, you know, wet consistency kapag bago-bago pa siya. Kasi ganun naman talaga, parang wet pa and you have to use it again and again para medyo mag-dry yung formula. Usually kasi ako, my preference is to um, have drier mascaras because they really separate and they also emphasize your lashes. So, ang ginawa ko dito, ang tagal ko na siyang ginaganyan para pumasok yung air in the tube para mas maging dry na siya. But still, super wet niya that it weighs down my lashes. And when your mascara is very wet, my tendency na mag-clump. And as you can see here, dito, sa part na to, sorry nakikita niyo mga ilong ko, okay? Pero, nagka-clump siya dito. I don't think that this mascara is good for beginners. Maganda to dun sa mga talagang nagmamascara na nakasama yung pagmamascara in their daily routine. Kasi ang hirap mag-separate ng lashes with this mascara. I also have this and this one is the Wang Skin Lip Tattoo in the color pink. Now, I am not really a fan of this type of pink here kasi yung parang natural color niya kapag hindi mo siya i-build up. Ang color niya is parang yung murtiolate. And I'm not saying now of course you guys some of you guys might like na yung ganung color but Ako, in my preference, I do not like that kind of pink. So, ang ginagawa ko, kinakapalan ko. Because, eh, kapag kinakapalan ko siya, ito yung nagiging color. Yung para siyang reddish pink. Which, for me, is okay-okay na rin. But again, they were the ones who chose what color to put here. And maybe this color would suit um, other skin tones or other um, preferences when it comes to color. But again, for me, hindi ko masyado feel yung color na to. But still, nakaka-brighten siya ng face. Now, meron din akong learning curve dito. Ewan ko ba yung box na to para akong ginawang makeup newbie kasi tinry ko siyang ipag-work sa aking everyday routine. Number one, hindi siya diretso na hindi mo siya ma-peel ng buo kasi di ba nakikita mo yun sa iba kapag pinil nila buong buo so I thought baka mali yung pag-apply ko but then kahit i-apply ko na siya ng um, kahit i-apply ko na siya ng ang kapal-kapal na hindi pa rin siya uh, napipeel ng buo <laughs> naibong ko kung ako ba ba problema or yung formula nila and then this one hindi siya masyadong long lasting as compared to I haven't tried yung mga peel off lip tattoos actually. Ito pa lang yung first one. But compared to lip tints, kasi syempre nag-iiwan din siya ng tint, right? So that's the whole point of it. But compared to the other lip tints that I have already tried, hindi siya ganun ka long lasting. Parang kumain lang ako and siguro mga hanggang bago na ako mag-dinner, natatanggal na siya. Lalo na dito sa outer part. Yung sa inner part na lang yung natitira. Now, if you want that kind of look, yung parang gradient look, perfect tong product na to for you. But for me, gusto ko kapag nag-lip tint ako, lahat gusto ko sakop yung color all throughout my lips. I don't like the smell. It smells like straight up glue. Hindi Elmer's glue ah. Kasi minsan Elmer's glue medyo tame pa yung scent, ba? This one, mmm. And when you taste it, hanggang ngayon, ang tagal ko na siyang winawear. Ang asim-asim pa rin ang lasa niya. Next is we have this and this one is the face conditioner long lasting makeup fixer from Holika Holika. Now, I have only tried a um control spray, oil control spray from Mumuso that worked out for me and did not break me out. And after receiving this, I have only been using this. Iba yung pag-fix niya ng um, face mo. So, when you spray this, parang well done or parang newly done lang yung makeup mo. It does not look cakey. It looks very fresh. Medyo may pagka siya but not really oily. And also, this controls the oil for I think up to 3 hours. Tsaka nyo palang makikita. But then, if nakakita na kayo ng oil, spray nyo ulit siya, let it dry, and marirefresh na ulit yung face. And I love the scent of this. Usually, I don't like um, products with strong scents, but with this, 
refreshing yung amoy niya and medyo flowery. That's it for my review for the Althea Beauty Life Guard box. Now, if you have some questions about it, just leave in the comment section below and I will try to answer them. If I can, I really try to reply to you guys. And sorry ha, kung minsan late, medyo ang daming ginagawa lang ng lola nyo. And again, for the full review, just go to my Facebook page. Doon ko na idedetalya lahat ng thoughts ko. Kasi kapag dito, baka hanggang bukas andito pa rin kayo. Baka sakalin nyo na ako sa susunod kong video. Kakadada ko. So, for my verdict, you should definitely check out this box. You get a lot of products that you would use every day. As in, tama yung kanyang name na Beauty Lifeguard. Kasi mga essentials. Yung makukuha yung product. Mga basic products that you would use every day. Okay? So, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and all that shit so you don't miss any of this. This is Tish and I'll just see you on my next video. Bye! Click on my face to join the family and click the video on the right for my previous video. And nope, nothing will happen if you click my dog.